Today, warm to remembrances of holidays past as YTV Movies presents the Father Knows Best Christmas Reunion. remembered when she was three years old. I held her up so she could see the tree and she reached out and touched it. <laughs> you know, sorting through the ornaments is a little bit like going through the family album. All our princesses of the children. Bart's horn. <laughs> this is the first thing he put on the tree. <laughs> oh, I remember how Kathy loved this. She had a special name for it. What was it now? Uh, oh, I know. Viola? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that brings back a Christmas. Do you remember when my sister Neva visited us? And that awful run-in she had with Kathy. We thought we were headed for disaster that Christmas Eve. Soon we'll get a glimpse of old Santa's boot coming down the chimney. <laughs> yeah, she'll give him a hot foot. Come on, Cap, snap out of it. What are you trying to veto Christmas? Boy, some Christmas a little grumpy down here, and you know, Mom's still upstairs trying to talk Aunt Eva into coming down and joining us. Why'd she make the trip here? Shh. No, this is very festive and Christmassy. Doesn't the tree look pretty? Yes, lovely. Come in and join our merry band, and we'll make the welkin ring. <laughs> Anybody here ever rung a welkin before? Neva, my favorite sister, may I serve you from the traditional Anderson wassail bowl? <laughs> oh, I ran across a recipe the other day that tells how they used to make a wassail bowl. It sounded horrible. They used to put sugar and nutmeg and a lot of stuff into ale and wine. And they heated the whole mess. Had cooked apples floating in it. I can just see Countess so-and-so. Daintily lifting her cup and getting slapped in the puss with a soggy apple. <laughs> well, uh, here's to a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, let's not let our enthusiasm get out of control. Maybe we need a good rousing song. Or, uh, now let's, uh, sneak a look at our present. How about opening a few? What do you say, kitten? I hope you get something I can play with. <laughs> oh, here's one uh, for Kathy. 
Oh, no, I'm wrong. It's from Kathy, and it's for... Aunt Neva. Well, deliver your present to Aunt Neva, Kathy. to their lukewarm about it. But they like the looks of yours. Now, I know this is sudden and right out of the blue, but, Jim, have you and Margaret ever thought of selling? I know the children are all grown and out on their own. Maybe you don't need this much house. Oh, well, to tell you the truth, the we've never given it a thought. Well, it's been home for so many years. Why, well, we couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Oh, believe me, I understand, but I had to ask. Uh -huh. If you should change your mind, I can sell it like that. Well, I'll tell you what, Louise, if we ever do change our mind, you'll be the very first person that we'll let know. Oh, thank you, Jim. There you are. Uh, Bye. -bye. <laughs> that is a wild idea. Oh, what would we do? Become a couple of gypsies? Well, we could buy a motorhome, head for the hills. The children <laughs> would have a fit. Well, it might be quite an adventure. No matter where they are, this is still home. Yeah. <laughs> where are you going? See if I can find the outside Christmas lights. They're in the garage on the second shelf, in the box marked dishes. Hello? Yes. Yes, I'll wait. Thank you. How that phone call was from Betty. Did you tell her it was about time? Well, she's been waiting to hear from Frank. It doesn't look as though she and the girls will be here for Christmas. Why not? Well, it all comes from having a fiancé who was an airline pilot. Frank's been transferred to the overseas run. Rome, London, and he wants oh. Betty and the girls to go with him and... Spend Christmas in London. Well, you can't expect them to give that up. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of looking forward to having this for a few days. Yeah. The girls are growing so fast. Well, oh, you found the light. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in the right box, too. Oh. 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 Yes, this is Jim Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll wait. Margaret! Hi! I need a place to hide. Come on in. I couldn't stay over at our house. The suspense, waiting for the phone to ring. Well, what's happening? Well, we listed our house for sale with Louise Baker just this morning. This afternoon, a couple came through, and they're in her office right now deciding. Uh, I, I'm so excited, I haven't even shopped. 
for dinner. Oh, well, come on in the house. I'm sure I've got something in the freezer to tide you over. No, Jenny, we haven't heard from him. Oh, was Matt? Yes. Well, a couple of weeks ago, we got a postcard, you know, from, from uh, Glen Falls. He did, no, he didn't say anything about uh, when he'd be home or, or anything about Christmas. Well, how about a couple of hands, say? Oh, perfect. I'll pay you back tomorrow. Yeah. I am so keyed up. Because if this uh. deal goes through, George and I are giving each other a Christmas present. Mm. A cruise to South America. <gasps> and then we're going to live in Florida. Well, how fantastic. Well, I knew Bud never cared very much about living in a big city. But I didn't know you were seriously planning to move. I'm ready to go, Margaret. Yeah? We've loved living so. next door to you and Jim. And well, we're going to miss you. I'll tell you what. Uh, Louis, uh, she, she, uh, she hey. closed the deal. Oh, 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 that's like phoning from the middle of a basketball oh. game. <laughs> Phew, oh. a genie. Well, what did she say? Well, Bud's off somewhere looking for a place to move his business, and I guess Christmas is the last thing on their mind. Well, that leaves Kathy. Yeah. At least she's never let us down. Why don't you put in a call to her and I'll start the dinner? Okay. Don't you Uh, we were putting our plans together for Christmas. We were just wondering if... Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he must have twisted his arm. <laughs> well, you'll have a good time up there. That's beautiful country. Yeah, well, uh... I, uh we'll miss you, of course, honey. But I'll tell you what, you... Call us Christmas Eve and uh, we'll sing Deck the Halls over long distance. Huh? <laughs> okay, darling. God bless. Goodbye, dear. She's not coming. She and Dr. Jason have an invitation to go skiing up at Oak Mountain. But they'll be here for New Year's. I suppose it had to happen sometime. Our first Christmas without the children. Where, why? Sweatshirts, baseball caps, t-shirts, fun gear for the cool kid in your unit. Wear, why? And get noticed. Perfect for holiday gift giving. Order yours by calling this toll-free number today. 1-800-665-9881. Charge it to your Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. Money orders accepted too. Wear why and make a scene. Time and time again, one battery has risen above the rest. When the dust has settled, it's always been the one left standing. Today's Duracell is the longest lasting ever, which makes it the longest lasting Duracell. Eli. You can buy. Case closed. Introducing Pillsbury Pie Crust. Homemade flaky pie crust and nothing flat. Pie crust, you've got it made. In the dairy case. 
big news at the Huggies Lab. What a breakthrough. Totally rethought, refined, redesigned. New Huggies Ultra Trim Diapers. A smart way to help stop leaks. They're nearly 50% thinner than ordinary diapers. For a trimmer, pant-like fit. And now, reprogrammed with unique curved leg elastics. Plus, revolutionary materials absorb better than ever to help stop leaks. New Huggies Ultra Trim. Totally redesigned to create big smiles. <laughs> you like that? No. Oh, I love him. You would. Oh. Probably more expensive than that thing oh. over there. No, it is. You know, I think we just established a new world record. What time? The longest distance two people ever walked in one department store in one night. Well, if the children aren't coming home for Christmas, we've got to get these gifts in the mail. I know, I know. I know. Oh, toys are getting more wonderful every year. Yeah. Oh, Jerry, look. Oh. <sighs> Anybody home? <laughs> oh, look at all the suits and dresses in the wardrobe. Oh, and those darling little slippers by the bed. <laughs> Wouldn't Jenny just love it? You're a natural born spoiler, granddaughter. Oh, may I help you? We're just admiring the doll, Bob. <laughs> oh, you're Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Kathy Ferris. Yes. Yes, and... And your friend Kathy's and I wish I could remember your name. Marilyn Murphy. Kathy and I were together on a swimming team in high school. Mm -hmm. Listen, how's Kathy? Oh, she's teaching in Kansas City. You know, uh, swimming, skiing, all kinds of sports like that. She married? Almost. I know all your kids always come home for Christmas. Give them my best. Yes. Yes, you will. Merry Christmas. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, it's a little hard to tell people your children aren't coming home for Christmas. Oh, Jim, look. Have you been drinking your milk? And eating your vegetables? And being a real good girl? Then I'll come by and see you Christmas Eve, okay? Oh, the time we brought ours to see Santa. <laughs> you know, I think it's the same guy. <laughs> I was looking forward to bringing Rob in. Jenny and Ellen. Yeah. Well, maybe next year. I don't think so. What? Well, next year, Bud and Betty and Kathy will be farther away and deeper into their own lives. Well, we can't change that. Nothing stays the same. You know that, honey. I know. Jim, let's sell the house. Sell a house? You mean that? And what do we need it for? We bought it in the first place because we were having the children. They're gone, and well, there's no need for it. Well, let's talk about it another time. Come on, let's go by the dollhouse for the girls. Well, Merry Christmas again, folks. Uh, thanks. Merry Pretty quiet all the way home. Mm -hmm. I almost wish this weren't Christmas. You want to skip it? We can, you know. All we have to do is mail the presents and forget the whole thing. The hard part is understanding that, that the children really don't care anymore. Oh, they showed up for our anniversary. Oh, after you called and asked them to come. Hmm. Honey. Let's think a while about selling the house. There's so much here, all of our lives with the children. But that was a time, and that time is gone. We'll sell the house and, and begin a new time. Oh, I'll cry a little, but that'll be the end of it. I have to tell you, Jim, I was surprised when you called. I really didn't think when it came right down to it that you and Margaret would sell. Well, I was kind of surprised myself. We decided uh, suddenly last night. The hot water heater blew up. 
<laughs> no, we were in the toilet department watching Tiny Club. The agreement to sell. Oh. You can check the terms. I think it's all there as you gave it to me on the phone. Mm. I hope you're ready to move. It's going to sell fast. Yeah. You and Margaret have any plans? What you'll do? No. Uh, <laughs> I think we'll just try to get through Christmas first. <laughs> Such a busy time with the children and the grandchildren. Well, it's a little different this year. They, uh, they all have other plans. They do scatter, don't they? Like leaves in the wind. I'll call Margaret and set a time to go through the house. I've never seen all of it. Well, you won't have any problems. It's not very crowded. <laughs> Jim, I know how you and Margaret must feel. I'll try to make it all as painless as possible. I know, Louise. Thank you. You're very sweet. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. We need some pictures of that house. I love the view from this kitchen window. Well, it's especially pretty in the spring when the lilacs come into bloom. Well, we, uh, we remodeled this kitchen about uh, two years ago. Oh, I hated to lose that old wooden drain board. It reminded me of Grandfather's kitchen. I must say, your kitchen looks brand new. Well, the children weren't raised in this one. But there are a few battle scars. Are those marks what I think they are? Yeah. That's where we measure how much the children grew each year. Well, it'll all be painted over. You know, some people whose house I sold last month had the same thing. They took the whole piece of wood out and took it with them. Oh, well, I'm afraid if we took all our memories with us, we'd have to tear down the whole house. Oh, I'm sorry. The children aren't coming for Christmas. Jim said Betty and the girls would be in London. Well, the airline pilot Betty met when she was in high school is very important in her life again. They're engaged. That's lovely. We don't have air conditioning, but the house is insulated, and, uh, oh, the furnace was new um, five years ago. Excuse me. I'll just mosey around. Hello? Margaret, I'm home. Margaret and I oh. are just finishing up with the facts and figures. It's a good house. Yeah, it's kept us warm and snug for a good many years. Jim, yeah. Betty just phoned. Yeah? Frank's bringing the girls down on his 120 flight. Isn't Betty coming? Well, she has a meeting in Milwaukee, but she'll be along later. Whatever happened to London? Oh, I don't know. There was so much noise in that connection, I could only hear half of what she said. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Louise. We're having a little trouble keeping track of our offspring. <laughs> well, we're finished anyway. <laughs> oh. I'll put on my parker. Disappear into the Arctic afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Margaret. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot for coming over. Okay, here. goodbye, dear. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, oh, what do you know? I had a feeling that as sure as we put this house in the market, at least one of the children would have a change of heart. Oh, I don't think there'll be any action before Christmas. No one buys a house during the holidays. <laughs> Captain Carlton going to fly the Atlantic? It's all true. First run tomorrow. You make it and we'll give you a ticker tape parade. So, can you get me a rental car, Julie? I need it for a couple hours. I'm going to be taking flight 34 back to Chicago tonight. You want a rose? Okay. That surprised me. Oh. Captain Frank! What? We're going to find the bathroom. I told you it was right around the corner. Oh, the find the two guys with pictures on them. That's right. One has a picture of a lady and one has a picture of a man. I thought the man was waiting in a pantsuit. And you finally found it? Finally! Oh, good. Now, come on, let's get going. Nan and Grandpa are waiting for you. You got your car. Oh, oh nice. Thank you. See you later. Ah, here come the Chicago Bears. <laughs> Betty will be along later. Well, there's no reason for the girls to stay around in Chicago while Betty was in Milwaukee. Yeah. 
She figured you wouldn't suffer too much if you had them for a few days. <laughs> you can imagine how much we'll suffer. <laughs> Come on. Oh, warm yourself for the fire. Well, that's what I need. <laughs> hey, uh, what was all that uh, stuff about uh, uh, Christmas in London? The girls didn't want to go. <laughs> Come on, open the coat. <laughs> to your Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. Money orders accepted, too. Wear why and make a scene. Yesterday, ha! the kids called him Dad. What's up? Today, they call him Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. I'm a hippo granny who could hip-hop, bebop, dance, and let drop. And yo, yo, make a wicked cup of cool, cool. Robin Williams. <laughs> is Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> oh, now playing at theaters everywhere. Robinson, what is it wrong with your uh, mother not happy? Oh, go on. You know what he's talking You remember? Don't get the traveling cases. Sit down, Fred. Here's something. Well, now we have them settled. What about you and Betty? Well, let's see. Uh, I arrive in Chicago from Rome at 11 a.m. the day before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Betty meets me at the air. I catch the 1220 flight to Springfield, and we're here at Christmas Eve. <laughs> That's going to take some careful timing. <laughs> well, I was told by your lovely daughter, Betty, if I want to marry her and be the father to those kids, I have to be around on all the holidays, no matter what, and I promise. Uh, uh, at least you'll be uh, safe with us tonight. Oh, no, Margaret, I'm sorry. i got to be back in 40 minutes. Oh. Uh, let me say goodbye to the kids. Well, here we go. Girls! Girls, come on down and say goodbye to your almost father. <laughs> Good luck in all your travels. Thanks. We'll meet you at the airport on oh, Christmas Eve. Okay, I'll be there. Hey! Hey! Yeah. Oh. I'll see you Christmas. Hey! Okay. Take care of yourself. Well, have a nice night. All right, hey. All right, bye. Bye, bye. 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 Well, girls, how about some uh, cocoa and cookies in the kitchen? And marshmallows. Oh, oh. 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 Girls, just one more and we'll be finished. Yay. How about that? Yay. Now you kids better get in inside before you freeze. You're close, Grandpa. Oh, not much enough. How does that look? I think you got too many green ones together. Well, you know what that is. These are made in Ireland and they love green over there. What too? No, he just made that up. Well, I was wondering when you'd get around to putting up the rest of your lights. Yeah, I don't want any trouble with you, George. Girls, you know Mr. Newman from next door? Yeah, yes. hi. How's he doing, ladies? I think you've got too many green ones together. Well, how's the sale of your house going, Jim? What house, Grandpa? Say, Jim, you, you hear the weather on the news? We haven't had the TV on. What's happening? They say we're in for a blizzard. Yeah, it's building up in Canada. In the next three or four days, it's supposed to come howling through here, warnings to farmers, cautioning against travel, the whole thing. Well, you better oil up your snow shovel, George. Stay with what house, Grandpa? Well, uh, I'm going to go inside where it's warm. But you take care of your grandpa, girls. We will. Well, I guess that's it. How about it? 
The question now is, will they light up? Uh, Where are they out here? Oh, honey, uh, turn on the outside light, will you? Yay! Okay? All right! Grandpa? Yeah? Have you ever seen any talker that way for the sale of your house? Well, that's, uh, sometime in the future, honey. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Hurry up. Peace. Mm. <laughs> You girls remember last year we had the tree with the window. I like it better by the fireplace. I like to see on Christmas cards. Well, that's your point. point. <laughs> but by the front window in the daytime you can see right through it. That's good. Okay. Yes. Well, I uh, I think I like the fireplace too. Well, let's take a vote. Yeah. I vote for the fireplace. All those in favor of the fireplace. Well. Oh. <laughs> We couldn't be happier. Well, of course, we'll wait up for you. You drive carefully now. Bye. Bud and Jean and Robbie are coming. They're in Halesburg. <laughs> Bud says they'll be here by midnight. That's <laughs> neat. Then everybody will be here. Yeah. You said it there at the first sound of Jingle Bells. Oh, 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 I I I I could, but, but by the time they get here, oh, you'll be please. visiting with the Sugar Plum Fairies. Oh, oh, it's a long yeah. way, and it'll be late. You have no idea. It'll be after midnight. Oh, Maybe one o'clock. Some... Oh, Grandpa, what's the matter? Oh, do you think something happened? Oh, honey, you know, bud. He calculates his time of arrival based upon 125 miles an hour. <laughs> then he goes 55. <laughs> there they are. I'll get the zombie. Come on. Let's go, kid. Ah, gotcha. This way. Hey. Come on. Oh, you up. You up. Hey, oh, 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 oh,
Well, we talked it over, and we think we don't need this bigger house. Oh, my oh. gosh. Well, I've got kind of wondered how long you're going to hang on to it, but... Well, the time has come, the walrus said. Oh, it's going to seem strange. Mm -hmm. We've always thought of you and Margaret and this house as being sort of the one thing that would just never change, that you'd <laughs> always be here. Well, it hasn't been an easy decision. Anna, I should like home to your house for Christmas. Oh. Jillian to look dressed up, even when she's not dressed up. Dr. Jennifer Mayer, pediatrician and mother. But one thing I won't compromise on is dryness. That's why I like these new Pampers prints. They've got great looking patterns and nothing keeps my Jillian drier here. Compared to the next most popular diaper, Pampers for walkers help prevent leaks better. <laughs> when she's drier, she's happier. Now all the dryness of Pampers also comes in the cutest new prints. For your little prince and princess. You want to go with Amy again? Yeah. But man, I gotta stop breaking out by then. You're not washing with Clearasil every day? No, soap. Why? Soap's fine for cars. We're talking with your face. Look, without cleansing, acne pimples may form. But Clearasil Daily Face Wash fights bacteria in helping stop pimples before they start. Wow, looking clean. But she missed a spot. Where? Right over here. Clearasil. Get clear, stay clear. This holiday season, ha! Robin Williams is the man of the year. Look at me right now, money, honey. I want to undo that bow and get to know you. And the woman of the year. Hello! <laughs> Surprise! In the movie of the year. You're not going to believe it. You're just really not going to believe it. 
sleep with this man, Jim. Well, before she starts the replay, hello, Jean. Good to see you. How you doing, Gibby? Good breakfast. Oh, thanks for the car. Come on, come on. 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 Come None of us are going to believe. Uh, well, you know, we were invited up to the mountains to go skiing. I yes. Oh, if, yeah, I had, if I had any sense at all, I'd have said no right then and there. But you know, yeah. Uh, yes, we've met. <laughs> <laughs> well, my brilliant friend here, he doesn't know a ski from third base, so we figured a little bit of practice wouldn't hurt. I let her talk me into these things. I don't know why. <laughs> because you can't chew gum and walk at the same time, darling. <laughs> but you're a brilliant doctor, and I love you. Anyway, there's this department store about two stories. We'll have the indoor ski slope about two stories high with cornflakes or something for snow. Yeah, well, it looked easy. Kids were going down. Well, you know, he puts on his skis, starts down the slope, and fell right into the credit department. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we were lucky it wasn't more serious. Oh, no, I only break um, arms and ankles. Oh, I see. And he'll do anything to get out of going skiing. Anyway, here we are. Oh, <laughs> That's right. Right. I'm sorry about your fall, but I can't tell you. How happy we are that you're going to be here for Christmas. Well, Kathy doesn't believe it, but actually I planned it all this way. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> so now you're a real skier. Oh, well, right. anyway. Oh, oh, right. Right. oh okay. Oh, come on, Grandpa. Come on. Get down. Come on. 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 Come I'm going to stop by Louise Baker's and ask her to hold off showing the house until after the kids have left. There's no sense in making them uncomfortable. Oh, that's a good thought. Anything you want from the market aside of beef, 10 gallons of milk? <laughs> Two loaves of bread and uh, a barrel of peanut butter. Okay, darling. Hey, what happened? I thought we were finished with all that. Oh, go on. You love it. Uh, howling hyena. Oh, there's a big one. Look at that one. Look at that big tree. Oh, oh, oh. You can stay on the lot now. This is a new. This is a new. one. Be right with you, fellas. Got to tie the trees up for a big wall. Seems like every year around Christmas we get hit with a blizzard. Last year my trees was down flat under a foot of snow. What is the forecast? Uh, forecast, what do people say day after tomorrow? Wish those Canadians would keep their blizzards to themselves. Be right back. Yeah, that's okay. Problems, problems. Everybody's got their problems. What are yours, son? Thanks, Dad. Well, it's Jean. She's just not happy. I, I don't know. We, things were going good after we all got together for your anniversary. I don't know. It's been kind of going downhill since then. Are you away a lot? Well, no. No, not that much anymore. I, I'm only racing locally now. I don't know. I, I wish I knew it was bugging her. Maybe she'd like to know it's bugging you. Closing is in 60 days, Harry, and with the holidays coming, we lose a lot of time there. And you can't have the pages closing until we're closing. I'm sorry, I'm double parked out in front. I'm in a hurry. Can Harry, I'm going to take... I'll call you back. Look, uh, can you cool the sale of the house till after the holidays? The kids showed up after all, and you know it'd be awkward showing it with people going in and out. You understand. Sure, Jim. but I can't do it, Jim. Why not? But I have a hot prospect coming in from out of town, and there's no way to reach it. How far out of town? Indianapolis. Oh. He and his family are making the trip just for the purpose. Well, I guess that's that. I'm being paid. Well, so long, dear. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, That's Jean. all right. Yeah. Really, too bad. Okay, goodbye. I think selling this house will be the greatest thing you and Dad ever did. Well, it's not the easiest. You can move to Colorado. Get a place in Aspen. Jason and I can sit up there to see you. Poor Jason. The way you treat him is a wonder he even speaks to you. Mother. He loves it. In Kansas City, he's known as the great Dr. Harper Super Surgeon, and everybody kowtows to him. And I call him Clutch. Do you love him? Yeah, Mom, I do. He's a great guy. Well, that's a good start. Oh, <laughs> 
only going to get a smaller tree, and every year it gets bigger. Get that in, Bobby. We'll stay away. Listen, everybody, I'll see you later tonight. What, are you going to go hit the slopes? <laughs> I'm going to hobble down to the nearest motel and get some sleep. Oh, you know, he's only been up 24 hours. He's tired. You're not going to that motel. We'll put you out on a couch in the, in the den. Of course. You know, I won't give you an argument. Yeah, it's really great, because I told him that earlier. Please, everybody, there is room for one more in the house. Well, I'll just take a little bit more of that tonight. Listen, when is Betty and Frank going to get here? Uh, didn't you say the day after tomorrow, huh? Christmas Eve. Yeah, Betty's flying into Chicago from Milwaukee. Uh, Frank's flying in from a uh, round trip to Rome. And uh, the two of them are flying down here at noon tomorrow. I don't know if they're crazy. Oh, <laughs> I hope they meet the place. Well, Frank will be watching the weather. Uh, well, listen, well, you better well, get well, some people who will be watching you fall on your face. Right. Come on. Say, okay. Jim. Yeah. Jim? Did, did you see what we like that? Oh, yes. Honey, it was too late. She got a family coming in from Indianapolis, and she couldn't stop them. Well, when do you think it's going to arrive? Sometime this afternoon, I guess, but don't worry, honey. I'm sure they'll telephone before they come out. It'll be all right. Okay. Hey, don't sing, Mom. I sing. Honey, girl, get the sled. We're going to the park. Yeah, yeah, honey, sing. Yeah. She's washing her hair. Tell her I'm taking the kids sledding on Fox's Hill. Okay. What was that shouting all about? Oh, Dad took the kids sledding. Oh, good.
Order yours by calling this toll-free number today. 1-800-665-9881. Charge it to your Visa, MasterCard, or American Express. Money orders accepted, too. Wear Y and make a scene. Introducing Pillsbury Pie Crust. Homemade flaky pie crust and nothing flat. Louise Baker. Hello. This is Mr. and Mrs. Hendricks and their children from Indianapolis. Hello. How do you do? Hello. I'm a real Hi. estate broker. The Hendricks are here to look at the house. Oh, I'm Jean Anderson. <laughs> is there anything I can do? Well, we're waiting for Margaret. We see we've caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Louise, I apologize. How am afraid you've caught us in a terrible mess. I should have called first. I'm oh, sorry we ran short of time. This is the Hendricks family. How are you? How are you? We had a minor flood in the kitchen. The oh. kids were sailing the boat in the lake. Sounds uh, like home. Well, uh, Louise, why don't you show the Hendricks around? You, you know the house. All right. And just be careful in the kitchen because it's still kind of wet. No problem. We'll start in the dining room. Get your coat, Yes, come along. Let's go through here first, shall we? Come on. Yes, it's okay. Thank you. I've been uh, walking around. <laughs> what a difference between this place and, and Minneapolis. I was going to run into ten people, I know. What's out uh, the window? Nothing. I was just thinking about how your mother must feel. This house has meant a lot to her. I love it, too. Come here, little... Oh, God, hello. I'm sorry to bother you. Now, you like this? I'm the Henry's family with you. This is Bud Anderson. Hi, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> and the well, view over here. We can see the whole street from over here. Come. This is Matt Did you see all the way down the block? Yes. It's dumb tight. We saw the house. Stop grousing. If we'd known you were all coming, we could have waited. We're not mind readers, you know. All right, come in. Oh, yeah, do. Uh, this was our girls' room. You have a lovely just what we've been looking for. Well, thank you. Just, um, just make yourselves at home. The colors in this room are lovely, aren't they? Really, sweetie, we have two closets for the clothing and bath on that side. <coughs> what, Cassie? <gasps> what, darling? I'm sorry, Mom. Just seeing those people in a room and just all of a sudden hit me. This isn't going to be our home anymore. Oh. Darling, wherever the family is together, that's home. Yeah, but it won't be like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I really feel stupid. Now, grown-ups cry, too. Come on, there. Oh, Kathy. Ah. Oh, Mr. Mrs. Hendricks. Have Louise shown you the whole house? Yes, and we loved it. Oh, Her good. house is just beautiful. Thank you for letting us know. Oh, it seems to have everything we've been looking for. Mom. Thanks very much. Oh, Thank you. Bye now. Thank you again. Goodbye. Goodbye, the way. Oh. How'd it go? I'm terribly afraid they're going to buy the house. Yeah? Come on, Grandpa! Let's put up the tree! Come on, Christmas Eve! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> You're stronger than I am, Margaret. Why do you say that? 
fall in your shoes, I'd be in tears. Oh, nothing stays the same, Jean. Why fight it? Hey, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Look at the rock and branches. The rocks to hold up the tree, and the branches to make the living room smell good. Hmm. Wait up, you guys! Well, I never heard of a rock holding up a tree. But he's your son. <laughs> he's your grandson. Oh. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, we can see her story. There we are. Oh, oh me. <laughs> There's a picture we ought to have in the family album. <laughs> you know, I don't know why I'm doing all the heavy work with What heavy work? What are you doing? Oh, it's the last box in the garage. Hey, Kathy, I think you should move the tree about a foot to the left. You know, I don't think you broke your ankle at all. Just, you are I'm a kid. I'm going to have a Bud, we need some more lights. Well, we'll have to get them off the front of the house. Then. No, no, no. There's uh, some up in the attic. In, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an old hat box. Oh, you'll you see it. You'll look for sure. Look around. Christmas stuff. You find me. Oh, Mr. Stories about kids who played in the attic. I've never been up here before. Oh, this is terrific. Oh, all the, the old family junk that nobody wants. Nobody wants to throw away. Well, Bud, I know you say that I don't complain. I don't tell you what my needs are. Okay. I'm telling you, I want this. I want a home. I don't want it without you. I know. You're not around very much anymore. What are you looking for? A better woman? Well, of course not. I, mean, I, I love you. No, I couldn't find a better woman. Oh, it's, it's not you, it's me. I don't know, I, I can't settle down. You know, what I'm missing is this, all this right here. You really think it's taken us 12 years to find out we want the same thing? <laughs> Shame on us. Anderson 
wasn't always like this. I remember the year it seemed a marvelous idea to go up in the woods and cut our own tree. And we were snowbound in an empty lodge with an old character named Nick. Yeah, what's this? Tears on Christmas Eve? Well, that's just it. It's Christmas Eve, but Sandy won't ever find us up here. Now, that's how much you know about Sandy. I found out he knows exactly where you are. How'd you find out? Oh, that's secret stuff. But he'll be here. He might have a bit harder time finding the house among these big trees, but... You can find it. Come on, let's go and have some tea. But even if he does find us, we won't have any Christmas tree for or any carrots for his reindeer. Whoa, 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 Dom. Do you know what's going to happen here tonight? A big, beautiful Christmas tree is going to grow up right through the floor. About right over there.
everybody. Quiet. Hey. Quiet. Oh. That was Frank calling from Rome. What's that? <laughs> Somebody here tomorrow night? Oh, he'll be here with Betty. Then why did he call? He's bringing us a pizza and wants to know if we want everything on it. No. Oh. <laughs> materials absorb better than ever to help stop leaks. New Huggies Ultra Trim, totally redesigned to create big smiles. I have super duper business. Can you see what your cinnamon toast crunch is here, Tim's taste? I'll look inside. The answer's in front of his face. Cinnamon and sugar taste is swelled all over every bite. But it's totally in Tim's taste. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is part of this complete breakfast. So what do you think? Sugar! Gee, gee. Hey, mind if I slap my gums? You know, some gums claim they won't cause cavities. But now Trident is the only gum proven to actually fight cavities. It's true. Because of an ingredient called Demtex. Demtex. Say it once to yourself. Only Trident's got it. Oh, and check this out. Only gum recognized by the Canadian Dental Association. Oh, yeah. Great tasting Trident with Demtex. Good for a smile. Choo choo. Well, I think there's going to snow any more than this. Oh, sure, but tonight there probably will be more snow than you've ever seen in your entire life. Nana? Hmm? We're going to go see the Christmas tree. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm sure that's for me. Hello? Uh-huh. Well, how'd they feel about it? Well, good. I'll be right there. Well, never thought I'd be doing business on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> whatever that is, smells great. Great, I'm going to be gone about an hour. Well, Bert, while you're out, will you pick up some paper and ribbon? Okay. Something about that ring upset you. But well, to tell you the honest truth, every time the telephone rings, I'm terrified it's going to be Louise saying the house has been sold. Where are you going? Oh, I uh, got some business to do across town. Oh, everything. You know, I'm going to do some things you do after the shop on the way down. Oh. <laughs> Where are you? Yeah. Who is it? Uh, it's Betty. She's right here at the airport. She need a ride? No, no. Uh, I'll pick her up. You go ahead, bud. Look, honey. Yeah? Well, I thought you were coming down with Frank. Yeah, uh, look, Princess, I I'll, I'll pick you up in 15 minutes, okay? Right. But didn't you say it was Frank? I don't know, but his flight from Rome doesn't get into Chicago for another hour. Well, the buyer's meeting ended early. There was no reason to wait for Frank. After that flight from Rome, he'd sleep all the way down here. <laughs> well, if your summer fashions are any good, I might buy some from your wholesale retail. Oh, there's your friendly neighborhood oh, mule. Thank you, Father. Whoa, down here. What did you do, Muck Santa Claus? I think picked so. up a few things. What are the girls? Oh, the last I saw them, they were out the backyard trying to decide where to build a shop. Oh, there oh, they are. Oh, and you big big girl. <laughs> Just perfect. Oh, Bobby, you know what? Nice. Isn't that me? Oh, that is me. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Without terrible weather, they're forecasting. Well, with Frank coming home safely, we'll batten down the hatches and let that storm blow. He should just about be taking off from Chicago. What am 
Where'd Dad go? Oh, Bobby! Here's your Aunt Betty. Hi. Where would Dad go? Oh, you little charmer. He probably went Christmas shopping. Oh, Daddy! Well, where are you? Oh. I'm sorry, Mother. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, I know it. Hello? Yes, she is. Just one minute, please. Mom, it's for you! You girls, please stop yelling in the house. Hello? Betty? I'm in Chicago. We have headwinds coming in, landed late. I missed my last plane south. Oh, Frank, the girls will be so disappointed. I'll get there, I guarantee it. Frank, what kind of a plane? Well, you be careful. Bye-bye. Is anything wrong? He got in late, missed the plane down here, the only flight today. Well, he can take the first flight out in the morning. He insists he'll be here for Christmas Eve. He's borrowing a plane, flying it down himself. Well, I'm, I'm sure he's watching the weather. Mother, he insisted. It's snowing more. Captain Frank is flying in the snow. I know that. What smells good, Nana? Ah, oh, pumpkin pies for tomorrow. What is this? It grinds up stuff. Why do you plug it in? You don't plug it in. Don't take that apart, Robbie. Oh. Frank came into my life the year I graduated from high school. He was a pilot in the Air Force, and we had a very short, very beautiful first romance. It was very real then. And so very real now. I can never guess who that is up there. This uh, isn't anything serious, is it? I know it sounds silly. The giddy schoolgirl who meets the handsome flyer. But it's not that. This is real. For the first time in my life, I... I know what it means to love someone. For the first time, I understand how you feel toward Mother. And she feels toward you. for a call. They're transferring some of the pilots, sending them to Alaska this morning. If he's going to stay, he's going to call at exactly nine o'clock. If he's going to go, there'll be no call because he'll be flying over our house on his way north. control. It's snowing all along the route from here to Chicago. Frank's flying alone in it somewhere. Well, what time's he supposed to be here? His flight plan said 5.20. It's 6 o'clock now. Well, when did you last hear from him? Over an hour ago. Said he was 80 miles northeast of Springfield and asked for landing instructions. That's the last we heard of him. We lost radar contact a few minutes later. Thank you. They've lost radar contact. No one knows where he is. He can take care of himself, honey. Frank's blowing weather like this worse than this. 
many, many times, believe me. You know what I can't figure out? With all this experience, why did he even take off with a storm coming down on him? He did it to please me. I made such a big deal. He had to be here for Christmas Eve. He did it for me. You got to bed. Oh, come on, Dad. No, 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 come on. Good night, Aunt. Kathy, good night, Warren. Good night, Robbie. 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 I should have told him not to come. out for me because it turns out that the farmer was an ex-pilot. Ah, ah. I knew I was in trouble. He got his truck out, aimed the lights right down the pasture. I landed and drove me all the way back here. Oh, oh, that's 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 oh. Hey, the phone was out. I did the best I could. I know. Captain Carlson, <laughs> what's this? Who? Oh, that's one of the... Who must have taken... One of his gifts by mistake. He had a whole truckload full of them. Thank you again for everything you did for me. It's all in the spirit of Christmas, son. Merry Christmas to all. Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. And to all a good night. 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 Thank you. That's weird. What's his name? You know, he didn't tell me. time as any to tell you. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, the house has been sold. Oh, oh, no. 
This mm -hmm. house for sale? Yeah. You never even told me. Well, when, well I didn't have a chance yeah. to. When did this happen? Oh, a little while ago. But, uh, Look, everybody, now, don't have such long faces. We'll have our reunions. We'll still get together. But it won't be the same. It won't be here. Well, I know, honey, but... <laughs> Listen, as uh, long as we're making announcements, I'd like to make one. I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that... Uh, Robbie and Jean and I have to leave tomorrow for Minneapolis. Oh, oh, right. Right. Now, 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 uh, the good news, as a uh, Christmas present for Jean, I'm the one who bought the house. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it took me 12 years to figure out that, well, with Springfield and a house like this, that's what we've been looking for. Huh? Now, all I need from Mom and Dad is a small down payment and a lot of time on the balance. <laughs> uh, you got it. You got it. Yeah. No, how happy. <laughs> well, we couldn't have found it any better. You know what? This is really super. Next year, we can all pile in on Bud and Jean. Hey, that's yes. a good idea. Yes. Huh? Well, as soon as you and Jim decide what you want to do. What a Christmas! I think we can all second that. Yeah. What a Christmas! Boy, you really get mixed up with these Andersons. Yeah, you never know what they'll do next. Oh, oh. That's not fair at all, Paul. Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. All the years in this house. What a wonderful way to keep this family together. Yeah. Do you think we should tell them the roof leaks? Oh, sure. <laughs> it all started when a bunch of us as sellers got together to help fight cystic fibrosis. It's a lung disease that was killing thousands of kids across Canada. We were ready to walk to the moon if it would help. So we called it Mama So far, we've raised millions of dollars. Why don't you join the Moonwalk team this Christmas? When you shop at Zelders, donate your Cubs Ed points to Moonwalk. Step by step, we can beat cystic fibrosis. To the Zellers employees, friends, and people across Canada who make Moonwalk a success, thank you and Merry Christmas. Introducing Pillsbury Pie Crust. Homemade flaky pie crust and nothing flat. my Jillian to look dressed up, even when she's not dressed up. Dr. Jennifer Mayer, pediatrician and mother. But one thing I won't compromise on is dryness. That's why I like these new Pampers prints. They've got great looking patterns and nothing keeps my Jillian drier here. Compared to the next most popular diaper, Pampers for walkers help prevent leaks better. <laughs> when she's drier, she's happier. Now all the dryness of Pampers also comes in the cutest new prints. For your little prince and princess. They say you're gonna bloom. What are you, plant life? Please. You've got all these decisions. You've got a life. Hey, you can make it come up roses. It helps to use pH balance secret. Dryness protection when you want it most. See what happens when you protect one side with secret? When the pressure's on. Secret any person that works harder to help keep you drier. So when you're faced with one of these, you won't pull one of these. Secret. Strong enough for him, but pH balance just for you.
This week, big kids and small kids can catch a glimpse of the North Pole and find out what's in the works when Santa calls on YTV. Catch him Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Check your local listings for exact times and ho, 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 you know.